Ben Affleck delivers an understated performance as the title character in The Accountant, an intriguing, offbeat entry in the action thriller genre. Affleck plays Christian Wolf, a math savant with high-functioning autism who handles the books for some of the deadliest criminal groups in the world. Chris's inability to emotionally connect with people shields him from forging close bonds, and he also remains haunted by the memories of growing up under the strict rule of his military intelligence father. We learn via flashbacks how Chris acquired his deadly set of skills, and how his genius for mathematics led him to working on the wrong side of the law. The main storyline finds Chris discovering that his new client, a seemingly legit robotics firm, may not be as benevolent as it appears, even as a pair of treasury agents, played by J.K. Simmons and Cynthia Dye Robinson, are closing in on the mysterious accountant's identity. There are also key subplots involving John Bernthal as a lethal operative and Chris's burgeoning feelings for Anna Kendrick's Dana, a young staffer at the robotics firm. Once Chris and Dana uncover further evidence that the robotics firm's books are being cooked to the tune of millions upon millions, the bullets start to fly. The film is most engrossing when it focuses on being a character study of this very distinct protagonist. It's the ultimate actor's challenge to convey a lot with doing very little, and Affleck's nuanced, tightly coiled performance proves he was up for the task. He also finds a humor in his character and, less surprisingly, excels in the brutal combat scenes. Simmons and Kendrick aren't asked to do anything here that we haven't seen them do before. Kendrick's role is smaller than you may expect and is a more subdued, less goofy version of the character she recently played in Mr. Right. Likewise, John Bernthal is playing a character he's tackled before, but fanboys will get a thrill from essentially seeing Punisher fight Batman. Outside of Affleck, Cynthia Dye Robinson is a cast member who, by virtue of having a lower profile due to mostly TV work, gets noticed most here. However, I'm not convinced the accountant needed to make the Treasury agents as central to the film as they ended up being. These scenes, along with some of the flashbacks to Chris's past, probably could have been tightened up to allow the film's structure to not feel occasionally disjointed. Director Gavin O'Connor excels at finding vulnerability and genuine emotion in films that traffic in very macho domains, often getting very nuanced performances from his leads, and the accountant is no exception. I'm curious to see how the film will fare commercially as those expecting a Bourne-style action thriller may be surprised to find out it's more of a character study. For more movie reviews, keep it here on IGN.